Alright, today PLB is bringing you to check out this newly MOP EC being one of a kind with its unique offerings in a super exciting growth area. If you are a family looking for three bidders over 1,000 square feet and wanting to keep your quantum below the 1.4 million mark, and you want to go for the part own stay part investment strategy, then this is one of the best finds in today's market. Let's check it out together. So just to orientate ourselves before we kickstart the whole home tour, we are in District 22 towards the west region of Singapore and specifically, this is towards the Jurong West portion where you can find your entire educational district NTU just right opposite us as well as the up and coming Jurong region line that is set to transform this entire area as well. Now Westwood Residences sits very nicely along the slip bend at Westwood Avenue. Now in terms of project facing, we are fronting towards your entire Westwood landed enclave and backed by a huge commercial plot that is also going to be serving as your investment rental driver as well. TOP in 2017, Westwood Residences met its MOP last year so we are still a very new MOP EC on the market and definitely still within our prime maturity period as well. A total of 480 units made up of your 2 to 5 bedders with 14 storeys in each block spread across 9 towers. In terms of surrounding amenities, we have Gekpo Shopping Mall and Jurong Point nearby which houses all the necessities, groceries and leisure shopping that you need. And bonus fact, there is even a daily shuttle service from the condo itself that takes you all the way to Gekpo and Boon Lay Station. Alternatively, you can choose to walk over to Gekpo in just 10 minutes and that is where you will find the upcoming Gekpo station on the Jurong Region Line by 2027. If you do drive, not to worry, PIE is just right round the corner. The nearest exit is under minutes drive away. And if you are a nature lover, our Jurong Lake Gardens is also just about 12 minutes drive away. Right where we are standing right now, this is one of the three better premium layout. If we pull out the floor plan, you'll see that we have a very comfortable size, 1033 square feet. Starting with your entrance foyer area, you have your dining, living with your balcony, kitchen tucked towards at the side, and right in the middle of the home, you have your yard, as well as home shelter, common bathroom, two bedrooms are tucked over onto the other side, as well as your master bedroom over at the other end. Right over here at Westwood, you do have two different layouts, your compact three bedder versus your premium three bedder. Key differences lie in that your compact three bedder does come at a size of 948 square feet. Almost all stacks are fronting towards the PIE highway with your unblocked views, Whereas your 3 bedder premium standing at 1033 square feet, which is where we are at, comes with an additional yard WC with a bonus storage wall line along the corridor as well as a larger master bedroom where you have your private balcony space. But most importantly, our 3 bedder layout right here gets to enjoy the most premium view amongst all the 3 bedders, which is your internal pool facing view. Once you come on in from your main entrance door, you immediately will be greeted by your huge and spacious entrance area which is actually your dining space right over here. And towards my left, you'll see this entire full flank of carpentry work nicely done up. In fact, owners spent close to 60000 in terms of renovation for the entire unit. So this area right here, you can definitely fit in your four-seater dining table. Or if you are a small family like an owner with a growing toddler, this can also nicely double up as your PlayStation for your kids area where you can then fix your dining over at the other corner. Now as we move in deeper to your living area, very spacious in terms of your TV distance towards your couch area. Easily you can fit in a two-seater or in fact a compact three-seater L-shape. Owners have already done up a beautiful dark wood tone carpentry feature wall right over here with plenty of storage right at the top including your floating console right at the bottom as well. And the bonus is that you can actually extend your living space out towards your balcony area where it has already been fully decked out. You also have your ceiling fans already nicely done up. Zip track are all done by the owners as well and right here you can see that our owners have already fit in their four-seater dining set. The balcony area is actually very regular in size, very spacious as well. And 
on top of your usual condo facilities like your 50 meter slab pool, function room, kids playground, tennis courts, dining pavilion with your teppanyaki, hot plate and grill, there's more to explore at Westwood Residences. Now this is not your usual condo development. In fact, within the condo itself, you get to enjoy your own bicycle storage, bike garage, outdoor mini velodrome, a bike trail and even a special traffic garden for your little ones. Alright, so why do we say that this is an extremely exciting area? Now everyone knows about the whole Tengah transformation and with that you're going to be seeing an influx of HDB upgraders into an area which is traditionally facing a very limited supply of private condos. Another exciting piece many are looking forward to is the development of Jurong Lake District as well as the Jurong Region Line. Touted as Singapore's second financial district outside of CBD, this 120 hectare precinct will be served by the Jurong Region Line which will connect commuters to other key activity nodes such as Jurong Industrial Estate, Jurong Innovation District as well as NTU. So with all this future demand pouring in, what this means for you as a buyer is that you are entering into an area where the demand potential is huge yet the supply right here of private condos is extremely limited and thus you don't have to worry about the competition around here. Now this gives you the first mover advantage to grab this 3 bidder which in our opinion is one of the rare gen that is still pretty much under the radar in today's season. Let's check out the kitchen area. Before we enter, enclosable door. Extremely important, especially if you're cooking up a feast for your family. A very nicely done up kitchen with almost like a U-shaped countertop. Top and bottom cabinetry are already nicely done up as well. And you do have a huge ventilation window right over here in front of the sink portion. You have your white quartz countertop and plenty of drawers right over here which are of course, importantly, all soft closing. And even right at this corner, you also have a pull-out drawer that allows you to still utilize that small little nook right over at the other end. So definitely, I think all these are very smartly designed by the developer as well. Stepping in, this is actually your first common bedroom. Once you come on in, you'll notice that the owners have actually removed the original wardrobe provided by developer and instead they've configured this to almost like a work from home study room kind of setup with plenty of carpentry, cabinetry all done up right over here. This is an L shape that also then leads you to a small little guest bed right over here, single bed size and something that I want to show you is that right beneath all of this cushion are all storage spaces right underneath. So spanning across this entire six blocks and even stretching all the way beneath right over there so no inch is actually wasted every corner of this room is nicely utilized as well your ceiling fans blinds are already nicely done up for all the bedrooms right over here you get to enjoy the same pool view alongside your living and of course if you choose to reconfigure this back into a normal bedroom definitely there's ample space for you to fit in your single bed or even a queen bed alongside your wardrobe here as well You notice this entire wall line, additional carpentry down up. Beneath here, this is where you have your DV compartment with still plenty of shelving to add on to your storage needs as well. As you move along this side, you also notice all these glass cabinets which are also nicely down up by our owner to place in some of your souvenirs, collectibles, travel item. And I think this also nicely accessorizes your entire walkway as well. And towards this corner, which is your center part of the home, you also have your bomb shelter, which is very important for family owned stay. And if you head on in deeper, you have an additional yard WC, which can double up as your washing point, followed by a small corner for you to stack up your washer and dryer. On top of that, huge ventilation window. And fun fact, this window was done up by our owners themselves. Originally came with the developer was just an empty compartment. If they choose to have a window they would have to place in the panels and the grills on their own so that's really nicely done up for you you'll notice all the windows along this wall line come with the mosquito netting as well also done up by our owners developer has also nicely provided an automatic rack within your yard area so this also helps to save up on your renovation costs
This is your second bedroom and right now this is actually their baby's room right over here. Very soft and cute wallpaper, already nicely done up. Your wardrobe provided by developer is still intact right over here. And all these are actually your movable items. If you do require again to reconfigure back to a normal bedroom, you can do so with your wardrobe ceiling fan, again with your blackout curtains already nicely done up right over here. In terms of flooring, this is also consistent across all three bedrooms. This comes in a white oak finish, vinyl material for all your three bedrooms, all still in perfect condition as well. Right across here, what you'll find is your common bath in still very good condition. Your mirror is provided by developer, bottom vanity with storage underneath. You also have a standing shower compartment, nicely glassed up with your shower screen as well. Let's also chat a little bit on how the prices in the area match up against one another. Zooming out into the Bunli Jurong West locale, there is Summerdale, TOP 201, 73 years balance lease, 432 units. The three bidders there average 1,002 to 1,003 odd square feet, asking 1.2 million to 1.33 million, an average of 900 odd PSF. Next, we have Centris, TOP 209, 82 years balance lease, 610 units. Three bidders there average 1,000 to 1,002 odd square feet, asking 1.69 all the way up to 2 mil at an average of 1005 to 1007 PSF. And of course, this is an integrated project, so naturally the prices there also command a premium as well. We have Floraville to our west, TOP 2000, 73 years balance lease, 754 units, three bidders there average 1003 square feet, asking 1.33 million to 1.49 million at an average of 1,000 PSF. And coming back to our unit here at Westwood Residences, this also fits very nicely in our PLB trifecta analysis with a very comfortable size 1033 square feet at an extremely palatable quantum 1.35 million asking only about 1,003 odd PSF. Just check out the size of this master. You even have space at the side for your side tables. Two panels of wardrobe already provided by developers. Right here, you'll find your TV feature wall. But over at this corner is where you'll find a bonus vanity for the missus to get herself ready in the morning. The other bonus for this master bedroom is that you get this extra space right over here, which is your balcony area. Already nicely done up with artificial grass turfing by the owners as well. Your L-shaped zip track has already been done up by the owners. And this this gives you an extra breather of space for owners of the home to just utilize this area. You can easily place in a one to two seater table right over here. Seating lights have also already been done up. As you flip over, you will find your master bath. So right over here, you have your vanity with nice storage right at the back. Some display shelvings for you to place some of your frequently used items. A huge sink countertop. Additional storage right at the bottom as well. For your shower area, it's also very sizable. Similarly, glassed up with a shower screen, huge ventilation window with your netting already done up. So overall, for the bathroom size, is great as well. So we've come to the end of our home tour right here at Westwood Residences. Once again, this is a 3 bedder 1033 square feet premium stack with your internal pool-facing view. You are the newest MOP EC in the West with exciting growth master plan in the area. Great for family-owned stay or as part of your long-term investment strategy. If you're keen to come down for a physical viewing, feel free to contact our listing team. Their contact is provided down below. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. We are on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. My name is Joanne, Poptilin Brothers, always happy to show you the place. Just have a look, um, cut that. Alright, alright, and why? Oh, this one! Very smartly, oops, that was loud. Okay, let me try that again. Our owners have also fit in a four-seater sofa. Four-seater sofa. Don't forget to forget 